As people grapple with the news of hundreds of bodies buried at the residential school site in Saskatchewan just weeks after the confirmation of unmarked graves in Kamloops, many wonder how to help and what to do next. Often allies want to get to the doing. Well, what can I do? And that's an important step, but we're not necessarily there yet. We are at the place of holding space for everybody to understand this truth. Because these unmarked graves aren't news to Indigenous people, just tragic confirmation. So she says, first, listen. Allow the truths to land in our hearts and in our minds and in our spirits so that we can begin to process the reality of what is unfolding in this place we call Canada. And we need to not turn away. It absolutely is a reckoning with ourselves. The colonization and decolonization landscape is really within ourselves. Peggy Janicki teaches kids and teaches teachers how to teach kids about residential schools. She says we need to examine our Indigenous knowledge and stereotypes and relationship with First Nations people. Asking, how do I know blank stereotype, right? What informs my knowing? Where did I hear that? And educate yourself. There are many resources, they say, including the BCTF website. Grace Smith has books geared to younger or new learners. Just don't place the burden, they say, on survivors to explain. There's so many ways for you to understand the truth. Read books. At this point, she says a failure to do so is a decision not to. She says it's important everyone understand the impact of these mass graves mentally and emotionally because this is the beginning, not the end. We've just opened the door to probably the greatest atrocity and the greatest act of genocide in this place we call Canada. For City News in Victoria, I'm News 1130's Lisa Yuzda.